do you want this effect then keep watching and I'll show you a few simple steps how you can achieve this. I'm fairly new to DaVinci Resolve and I was looking for the rainbow effect that you get in Mario Kart when catching a star and I couldn't find any tutorials or videos on it so I want to show you guys how to do it so that you can do it yourself. I already have a clip on my timeline and first thing you have to do is make a duplicate of this clip. So hold down the ALT button and drag it to above to make an overlay. Now we're gonna shorten the clip to where we want to make the overlay and I think it's gonna be around here. I want to get it, get his star around here and for the end I think it has to end here. Okay. So then we go to the color tab. And in the color tab we have to select the right clip. So this is the right clip. This is the overlay clip we just created. And we're gonna make some notes. You can see your notes uh, on the right hand side. Uh, you can do this in two separate ways. You can select the right click and Add a note, add serial. You can also do this by pressing Alt plus S. It creates also creates a serial. And I'm gonna name this one Rainbow, because that's where we're gonna do the rainbow effect. And this one we're gonna name uh, Cut, because we want only the card to get a rainbow color and not everything around it. So let's start with a cut we already have our clip at the beginning so now we're gonna go to this tool the clip tool and we're gonna select a little bit big around this card because we want to track the whole card okay and when we have done that we got to move over to the tracker. And as we are at the beginning of our clip, we just have to track it forward. You can see that it missed a few points, so we're going to set it to frame. We're going to go back to where it's. Okay, so we now made our cut, uh, did a little speed up there because it takes a lot of time. And we can see that the cut in our notes, that we only have our card selected right now, but we don't see it on the screen. So what you have to do is right click on the grid and select add alpha output and you get a blue circle. Add it to the right of your screen and you have to connect this blue square to the blue circle and that makes the cut out. So, the next thing we have to do is make the rainbow color. We're gonna select the second clip and we're gonna go all the way back to the beginning. Okay. And then we're gonna make an, in the keyframes, in the lower right, we're gonna select the second character and click on this square. This makes a point in time on the keyframes and we wanted to start it at the beginning. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna go to the left over to the color wheels and in the bottom you can see the U is at 50%. We're gonna bring this all the way down to zero. Now the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna move the time ahead a little bit further. 
and then we're gonna bring the U up to 100%. And you can see what's happening here, it's gonna decrease and increase. And we're gonna do this several times. Back from 100 to 0, move the slider, and from 0 to 100. And this has to do with how quickly you want to change the colors. If you want to change the color slowly, you only have to put one marker at the beginning, one marker at the end, and it will change slowly. But I want the colors to change quickly, so I can put multiple markers on the timeline. So you can see the effect here, if I just hide the cutout like this, you can see what happened to the clip, it changed the color from everything. And we only want it to cut, so we have to, this cutscene, we have to the alpha out, and as this is an overlay, you will see that the second card just starts to change color. So that's it. That's all you have to do and if you play the clip right now you can see that here it starts to change color in the overlay and the clip continues. So that's all for now. I hope it helped you a little bit and see you next time.